Installing the tail boom um, on this is pretty easy. Uh, I've already got it set up with the uh, servo mounts here. Little screws are in there and not tightened down yet. And then I've got the also the uh, little push rod guide secured with a piece of zip tie there and uh, that'll hold it in place and you can still move it around a little bit uh, to adjust the push rod later and what I've done is I've got a little piece of music wire a little hook on the end and I just slip that through I'm just going to use that to hold the tail boom over the belt and make sure that I can keep the orientation straight and I'm going to set that down pull it all the way through okay. so on the tail case there are two there's a little plastic nub that I have removed I took the plastic piece all the way off and uh, just going to slide the tail case over the boom and line up that hole with the hole in the boom. On this little plastic piece that locks the tail boom in place, there's a really long screw that goes on the top and the shorter screw goes on the bottom. Okay, so it looks like that. And I'm still holding the belt with my little hook here. Okay, now I did actually get the belt twisted, and it's always a good idea to check these things. Um, you can just sight down the boom on this one. Um, on my other helis with the uh, closed tail case, I wasn't able to really see that very well. Um, but on this one, you can actually look right down the boom and, and uh, see the whole belt so you make sure it's not twisted. Next step is you're going to insert the boom into the tail with the little slot here facing to the left hand side and again try to keep your belt straight Now the really tricky part use the little screwdriver to go ahead and loop the belt over the little pulley inside oh sure enough I got it backwards <laughs> easy way to tell is to go ahead and spin the gear um, correct direction of rotation here and um, you should see on the back end the tail needs to be spinning around this way okay, and the way that I remember that is that the leading edge of the blade should come up into the rotor wash so on most helicopters this is going to be the case the tail is going to go around this way so that the blades come up into the rotor wash um, so I got this one on backwards go ahead and take it off okay now it does seem like I have um, a little bit of a long belt here so I had to pull back just a little bit on the tail boom to get the belt tension just about right. Um, I'm using the standard belt tension method. You just kind of look down here, um, use a screwdriver or something to push the belt over, and you should be able to push it over a little way, but not all the way. Um, really won't know if that's right until I fly with it a little bit and see how it works. So all you do is just pull the just pull the boom back a little bit and then go ahead and tighten the eight screws and that part is done All right, installing the tail blades themselves 
it's pretty easy. Um, I removed the tiny grub screw from the end there, and I'm going to put a little bit of Loctite on it. So I'm going to slide the pitch slider over the end of the shaft, and then push the ball into the linkage piece. Okay, just going to rotate it down in there. Slide the tail hub over the shaft as well. Kind of tricky to get it on there straight here. Now I'm going to push it all the way on there, a little bit too far, because what I want to do is, I'm looking for, there's a tiny little hole on the end there, and I want to find that first, and then I'm just going to twist the blades a little bit to pull that out, keep everything lined up because the little set screw needs to go down into that hole now if you tighten it up a little bit you can kind of feel when the set screw gets into that hole just by moving it back and forth a little bit And go ahead and tighten that down. Alright, got a Loctite on there. And uh, the reason I put the blades on there first is just so I can remember which direction they go. Um, remember, blades rotate so that the leading edge of the blade. The leading edge of the blade comes up that way. Okay, so it goes around this way. Let's show that this way, maybe. Blades rotate that way. Okay, the last thing you need to do. Uh, for the tail is to go ahead and mount the vertical stabilizer and it's real easy just take that plastic piece off before that we used to hold the tail case on straight and put the screws through the stabilizer and it just goes on this way you don't have to get these too tight just tight enough to hold them because uh, nothing can move around back here that little key is holding it in place and you don't want to crush the carbon fiber. Carbon fiber cracks real easy. So that's uh, mounting the stabilizer. And the last thing that I want to do for this is I got my tail push rod and I've got one end this way, got a ball link on the other end. And go ahead and stick it through the little holder deal there, slide it up, and attach the ball link end. I don't know if you can see that there. Just attach the ball link onto the ball um, on the end here. And I think this one also has a little A on it. So yeah, be sure to get the little A to the outside. And if you put a little screwdriver or something in between the metal tail case and the tail pitch slider, you can push against that with your finger 
and snap that on without bending the little plastic bits or anything like that. Grab the tail push rod and slide it back and forth. Check for any binding. Um, there is a known issue with the tail on this one and uh, can't really check it until I've got everything else going but it you know feels good right now but just have to check it later looks like it's moving like it's supposed to go ahead and get the helicopter upside down and I'm gonna line up this holder so that everything is straight down the boom if you just look down there you can see where everything is straight if you put the tail push rod on there first uh, you'll have to slip this underneath it somehow um, didn't have to take the tail push rod out just had to put one side one boom support on slide, slide it through and then do the other one and um, it's pretty easy to just finish this up with a little get the tiny stabilizer here little bitty piece there and it just simply goes on like that Tighten one side loosely and do the other side. Now what I like to do at that point is to hold the helicopter out in front of me and I'll sight down the end of the boom looking down there and I want the stabilizer piece I want this piece be 90 degrees to the main shaft and if you just look down just hold it out in front of you so if you just hold this out in front of you you can see pretty easily when the stabilizer is in the right place and just screw it down and you might want to hold one of the front pieces in place when you while you do that just to make sure that you get the right distance there you can go ahead and screw one in if you like and um, I'm not going to actually screw both sides down right now because when I do my wiring I'm actually going to take a good portion of the frame apart I'm going to take one of the lower frame parts off so that I can route some wires into the receiver the way I want so you know not exactly finished with this part but it's all pretty easy from here that's the last thing I'm gonna do before I do the wiring and all the setup rest of the setup for the head and set up the gyro and everything else so um, really happy with this so far it's gone pretty well Alright, so I hope all that made sense. Tail, tail boom, belt and everything. And also the tail push rod slider. I'll show you how to do the gyro and the gyro servo later. But uh, thanks for watching.